Dear students, welcome to my channel. This channel is only for you. Today I am going to discuss exercise 1.1 from question number 2. I have already discussed question number 1 in the previous class. You can check the playlist. Here, number 2, show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6 cube plus 1 or 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5 when q is some integer. So you have to use division algorithm, Euclid's division algorithm. What is division, Euclid's division algorithm? Let A and B two integers, then there exist unique integer Q and R such that A equal to BQ plus R. But here you have to choose in place of B, 6. Remember this one. So write down, let A and 6 B two positive integers then there exist then there exist unique integers q and r such that a equal to 6 q plus r where 0 less than equal to r less than 6 and q greater than equal to 0 this is the euclid's division algorithm here you have to prove Put, therefore, r equal to we can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 5. Here less than 6, so up to 5. Now, putting the value of r equal to 0. When r equal to 0, you will get a equal to 6 cube plus 0. Or simply you can write 6 cube. This is the multiple up to this one. Even it number. This one even number, even integer you can write. When r equal to 1, you will get a equal to 6 q plus 1. 6 q plus 1 is not a multiple of 2. So this one odd. Odd integer. Next write, when r equal to 2, you will get a equal to 6 q plus 2. So, if you take common, you will get 3 q plus 1. So, this is the multiple of 2. This one, even integer. Next, when r equal to 3, you will get a equal to 6 q plus 3. Here, three, you can take 3 common. So, this is not the multiple of 2. This one, odd. Odd integer. Similarly, when r equal to 4, you will get a equal to 6 q plus 4. If you take common 2, you will get 3 q plus 2, which is even. Which is even integer. When r equal to 5, you have to put all values of r. a equal to 6 q plus 5, which is odd. So, now look. Here, when r equal to 0, you will get even. But when r equal to 1, you will get odd. When r equal to 3, you will get odd number. When r equal to 5, you will get odd number. Therefore, any positive, any positive odd integer each of the form 6q plus 1 or 6 q plus 3 or 6 q plus 5. This one, any positive odd integer, if you have to write positive even integer, then you will write in the form 6 q, 6 q plus 2, 6 q plus 4. You can write the notes. Number 4, use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. So, you have to use Euclid's division lemma as question number 2. I will discuss question number 3 later. So, this one same as question number 2. So, write down let a and here you have to choose 3. Yeah, 3m. So, write 3. a and 3 b any two positive integers then by Euclid's lemma, Euclid's division lemma, 
a equal to 3q plus r where 0 less than equal to r less than 3. This is the condition. So here therefore r equal to will get 0, 1 and 2. You can write 0, 1 and 2. So now write when r equal to 0, a equal to 3q plus 0, simply you will get 3q. But here question, question is given square of any positive integer. So now take a square, a square equal to 3q square, you will get 9q square. 9q square you can write 3 into 3q square or 3 into m where m m equal to 3 q square here in question is given either in the form 3m or 3m plus 1 if you are given 3m you will write 3m if you are given 3q you will write 3q so write um, you have to write your answer according to your question write this one next when r equal to 1 write down when r equal to 1 a equal to 3q plus 1. When put, you put the value of r equal to 1. Now, a square equal to, you will get 3q plus 1 whole square. Or, a square equal to, this one a plus b whole square. So, a square 2 into a into b, that means 2 into 3q into 1 plus 1 square. Or 3q square, you can write 9q square, 3 to the 6q plus 1. So if you take common here 3, you will get 3q square plus 2q plus 1, which is the form 3m plus 1, where m equal to 3q square plus 2q. This m and this m is not same. Remember this one? These are different. Here in your question is given either is the form 3m or 3m plus 1. So I have written here m equal to 3q square plus 2q. Again you have to put when r equal to 2. When r equal to 2 you will get a equal to 3q plus 2. Now square. Squaring both sides. 3q plus 2 whole square. This one a plus b whole square form. So 3q square plus 2 into 3q into 2 plus 2 square. So 3q whole square will get 9q square. 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12q plus 4. So here 9q square, 12q. In place of 4 you can write 3 plus 1. So when you take common 3, 3q square plus 4q plus 1 plus 1. So, which is the form 3m plus 1? So, after that, we will write 3m plus 1, where m equal to 3q square 4q plus 1. So, here place is not there, so I have written here. You can write after this, you will write this part. So, you got any int square of any positive integer is of the form 3m, either 3m or in the form 3m plus 1. So, this is the proof of question number 4. So, I have already discussed question number 2 also. Next class, I will discuss the later part of exercise 1.1. I think all of you understood my class. If you understood my class, don't forget to like, comment and share to others. And if you not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel for next class. Thank you for watching.